the next question tab is the fill in the table question. Here you can give students some numbers, you can give them text, and they have to fill out the table given the words they already get. Let's click on it and let's configure this question. My question is fill in a table about animals. First link the animal with its color, then translate the animal names to Dutch. If you want to switch to rich text, if you have a school license, you can do this and you can, of course, change this, make it a numbered list like this so it's much more clear. I'm going to put these bold as well. That's my question. Below, I'm going to create my table. So here I'm going to click on the pluses if I want to add columns and I'm going to click on this plus if I want to add rows. Let's start with the columns. So I want just three columns, that's okay for me. And then let's start adding rows. Okay. If you want to delete a column because you have one too many, you can just click here and then click on the X to delete one or click on a plus to add one as well. Like this. Okay, the first thing you need to know is that students will not be able to see the ABC. So you don't have to change this. If you want to add a header line, a header, a, a row here or a header column, you just have, have to add your words like uh, here and you can make a header out of it. So let's start. We have the animals, the color, and the translation to touch. If you want to make your rows, uh, your columns a bit wider, just click here and just make them wider by dragging the row a little bit more like this. Then, when you go down, you can see that you have some other options as well. So if you go stand on a cell, you can see that you can choose a cell type, you can choose the text, you can change the layout of the text, and you can change the border of the cell and change the background color of your cell as well. This you can do for each and every cell. You can do this one by one by clicking on each cell separately and then change um, the layout or cell type. Or you can just select multiple cells by using shift when you're using with a Mac and I think it's control when you're using with uh, when you're using a Windows computer. So let's just pull the shift and then just select all these cells. Now I'm going to give them a background color like here. Let's choose um, a light green. And now you can see this background color is light green and it will also show for students. This is my header, so I don't want my students to be able to change this header. So in this case, I'm going to change the cell type from default to read only. So students can only read that word, they cannot click on it, they cannot change it and so on. So read only. I'm going to do the same with these two, read only. Then I'm going to add my animals. So I'm Flamingo. These words are given to my students. So again, I select the cells. And I'm going to choose the read-only cell top. The color is something that my students have to add. And of course, I want it to, to be automatically graded. I'm going to give it right here so, my, so that Book Widgets knows that this is the correct answer. And if, if students write it down exactly like that, they will get a point. If not, they will get no points. So we have pink. like this. For this cell type, I choose checked input. So it can be automatically created. 
if I just want my students to add something that it cannot be automatically created or I just don't want it to be automatically created, you can choose just for input. In this case, it's a check input and then the computer knows that, uh, that these fields, that these cells have to be empty for the students, but have to be automatically graded. Again, I'm going to add it for the others as well, like this. We're going to do the same with the translation to Dutch, because of course, this is something students have to fill in the table. And again, I'm going to indicate the cells and give it a checked input. When I go down here, I can choose um, the grading to be case insensitive or case sensitive. So if I really want my students to write down the words with a capital and otherwise it will be graded incorrect, then you choose case sensitive. Of course, here it doesn't really matter. They just have to translate it. The case the capital letter doesn't really matter here. So case insensitive will do for me. So this is actually my table. When you go to format here, so this is something I haven't explained yet, you can choose a different format for each cell. So if I click on a cell, then I can choose the format to change here. If your students have to add text, you better just keep it on the default. If your students have to add a number, a currency or a percentage, then you can choose whether uh, what kind of format the input would be. When you go down, of course you have, you can add an explanation, you can add a hint, you can add an audio fragment, image and so on. And of course, really important here are the scoring options. Just click here and change the scoring options. And uh, this also is a score multiplier. So for each cell your students have to fill out and you enable it to be a checked input, then um, they will get one point. So in this case, my students have to um, translate five animals. So those are five points. And they also have to add a color to the five animals. So those are extra five points. So this will be on 10 points. I can make it a little bit small, smaller by um, adding 0 0.5. Use a point here, a comma won't work. So I'm going back here and then I'm going to preview to see how this looks like for my students. So here you have the table. This is just a question. This is a table. Um, they cannot click here and they cannot change it because I added it to be read only. Here again, this is just a read only. And here is a checked input. So students can start typing right here. So we have pink, we have um, gray. Let's make a mistake here green white and of course it doesn't matter if you're using a capital letter because i put it case insensitive so let's try out then i enable the widget to show the answers immediately of course, when you send it to your students and you want them to be able to submit it first, you can change that in the general settings as well. I also enabled it to show the score. This is just for you so you can see how much they will score here and uh, how much points are associated with this single question. Click on show answers and it will be automatically created. You can see that the score is four out of five because I added it to be a 0 0.5 for each answer they had to fill out. Um, here, you can also see the correction right besides the word like this.